CataractCoach.com. I've done 20,000 surgeries, but I just cannot chop this cataract. Why? 99% of surgeons won't figure it out from that picture. And how do I know? I didn't figure it out. And I'll show you the case. So the beginning part of the case is all routine. Here's some viscoelastic, making the main phaco incision. Everything totally normal. We'll finish up the capsular rexus here. And now some hydro dissection. Everything again seems pretty routine. Patient does take Flomax, a little bit of a smaller pupil, but not too bad. Okay, here's the phaco probe going in the eye. There's the chopper. So we buzz in with the probe. There we go. Place our chopper and no chop. Hmm. Try again. Buzz in and just not getting any chop out of this thing. Doesn't seem that dense. Let's try a horizontal move here. Maybe a little better. Rotate the nucleus. Let's buzz in the chop. Faco probe there. There's the chopper. A uh, little bit of a chop. Not much. So let's rotate again. Buzz in. Get the chopper around there and still just ineffective at chopping. Why is that? Everything seems normal. They're in my normal settings. The eye anatomy seems okay. The lens isn't too dense. Finally, I get a little bit of a chop there, but there's a lot more struggling than I'm expecting for this grade of cataract. So chopper goes around again and still not that effective at the chop. Buzzing one more time. Finally, there we go. Finally, we got a little piece off. And hopefully we can bring the rest of this nucleus up. And again, the answer's staring me right there in the face. And I have yet to figure it out. Buzzing with the phaco probe again. Here's that denser central nucleus. Chopper goes around. We'll break it into pieces. That's Now it's starting to chop a little bit. Still not as effective as I would like. And you can see this isn't... An entirely dense nucleus there doesn't have that fibrous or leathery quality it's a pretty traditional moderate amount of nuclear sclerosis buzzing with the phaco probe again and we can just subdivide it so finally I'm making some progress here and we're removing the nucleus taking our time here and again still not sure why I'm not having great success even though the answer is right there I mean right in front of me I'm seeing the answer. Well, I'm seeing it now in the video. At the time of surgery, I didn't figure this out just yet. So we'll bring this last piece. There we go. Last bit of the cataract coming out here. Looks pretty reasonable. And I think we're, we're almost ready for that uh, epinuclear shell. There it is. Take that down. And let's see. Can we get this? Nah, I think we'll just do it with the IA probe. All right, finally we can make a switch over here. Let's just cut to the end. There's the end of the cortex removal. Again, everything's totally normal now. Seems fine, but I still don't know why couldn't I chop that cataract? So let's fill our capsular bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. And then we'll put the lens in. And I'm gonna figure out the answer right about now. Watch carefully. So there's the capsular bag inflated. There's the rexus, everything looks nice. And as I go to put the lens in, I'm going to fixate the eye with the chopper. And as I do that, the chopper slips out of the peritoneus. Wait a minute. Put it back there again. It's, let's get that lens in. What's with the chopper tip? Look. Now it hits me. Oh, my, that thing is broken. The chopper tip is broken. That's the issue. So now... I'll ask for a new chopper and we'll give a new one. But now the question is, remember, you're doing this surgery. You now realize the chopper is broken. Is there a piece of the chopper left in the eye? I mean, I don't see it. How do we know? So here's the new chopper. Look at the difference in the tip. Much different. So now let's check all the quadrants. I don't think I saw any piece of the chopper tip there. But certainly... Certainly that other chopper had a broken tip. So let's review. Here we go. At the beginning, before inserting the instrument in the eye, the chopper tip is broken. The middle panel shows that it's broken again during surgery. At the end, there's the replacement chopper. So the important thing here was that we recorded the video so we could stop at the end of the case, review the video, 
to be 100% certain that that chopper tip was broken prior to ever inserting in the eye and there is no piece of the chopper left in the eye. Thanks for watching.